Over 2,000 government built houses continue to be illegally occupied in Olievenot Bosch. That's in the south of Pretoria. In fact, residents there say units have been allocated to outsiders instead of locals. The units have no electricity or basic services as the uh, government says that the occupation itself is unlawful. News from Africa's Pilani Bakadi has the story. All these you see here are government units meant to benefit over 1,500 beneficiaries. They are occupied illegally. Government will not be rendering any services here, saying the occupants broke the law. But Mzoli Simulashudi, a local resident, has another view. He says it is the government's fault that they had to forcefully move in. People came and occupy uh, unlawfully, so as they say, the, gov as the government says so. But it's not like that. There were three uh, buildings here which are, are, are well finished which people came and then they, they claimed that uh, the housing is the one who allocated them. To find out when we came there, we found out that those people are coming from different places. They're coming from Atresville, they're coming from uh, Tipsloot, they're coming from Johannesburg. None uh, resident of, of Oliver and Orbosch have been allocated there. Here in extension 27, 888 houses have been illegally occupied for five years now. They claim to have waited in line since 1996 and People from other areas in Rauteng, some who are far younger, get houses here in the area. We also have a situation whereby people with C forms from 1996 are still on the line and they are not getting allocated. The local councillor agrees that the housing issue is a thorny one and calls on Rauteng Kogda MEC Labogam Maile to assist him in getting the matter resolved. As government, I think we need to also take responsibility that these issues have emanated as a result of not being able to deal adequately with the demand of the ever-growing demand of housing in this community. But then the Department of Human Settlement fears that there is only one way out of this and it is for those illegally occupying the units to be kicked out. In December uh, 2019, we were ready to uh, implement the evictions. We would have gone to the sheriff and asked uh, the sheriff because the court order says the sheriff must they go and inform people who would have notified people that were coming to evict. And every time we do a notification, what they do is to close the streets. So clearly you are not dealing with people who are willing to abide by the law uh, and respect the fact that there is a, um, a court order that says they must move from the houses that don't belong to them. And then there are these stands also illegally occupied. Land has been grabbed. This is just opposite extension 27 worsening the illegal occupation issue in the area. The lack of housing in Oliver and Hotbosch has led to the illegal occupiers of uh, units built by government. It has now trickled down to land grabbing. Now, the residents here want this stance to be formalized so that they can begin to receive services, services they say they're willing to pay for. For Newsroom Africa, Channel 405, I'm Belane Pahadi in Oliver and Hotbosch, Twani.